Bobby, to start off, congratulations on the collaboration with one of the largest companies in the world, Mondelez. Uh, thank you, Brandon. We're super, super excited about Mondelez and our partnership and their joining the governing council. It's been an incredible week. Well, you should be excited. So to kick this off, I'd like to dig into the mechanics of what you're doing with Mondelez. Can you walk us through a SKUX promotions lifecycle from creation to issuance, redemption payment, and then finally retirement? Yeah, so l let me kind of take a step back. So l let's talk about there there's two different ways that we power promotions today at SKUX. Just try to simplify it for the audience, right? There's reactive promotions and there's proactive promotions. So from a reactive perspective, this is when a customer care incident occurs, right? Say there's a, you know, a negative product experience and that brand is trying to seamlessly put that offer back in the consumer's hands to replace that product, right? We call that reactive promotions. Then there's the proactive side of the house, which is everything promotional, loyalty-based, you know, engaging consumers in the different avenues and methods that the brand wants to, you know, engage their consumer. So from a reactive promotion perspective, that's what we're currently working on with Mondelez. It's the use case where there's, you know, a bad product experience or there's a reason to replace that product. And the SKUX instant payment capability puts that payment in the consumer's hand as opposed to a physical check or a voucher, right? So from number one, it's a better consumer experience. We've taken a process that was seven to 10 days from a physical check or coupon perspective for that consumer receiving the payment to under 30 seconds. So it's very transformative from the business process. We are significantly eliminating cost in that example, but we're also providing a much better consumer experience. So the process of a check today, I mean, everybody knows what, what happens with a check, right? There's waiting in the mail, there's the time of producing the check. You've got the post office literally saying, you know, stop sending checks because of the fraud, right? And then the vouchers and the coupons in that process, our platform powers that payment to the consumer's device. So the brand has full control to be able to set up the funds, be able to engage their consumer. In this example, it's through their customer care or their CRM management system to be able to say, okay, I need to send, let's just use an example, $5 towards this consumer, right? And then that consumer is able to click a link and then within 30 seconds, they have that payment on their phone that can be tracked throughout the entire life cycle of the payment. So that's consumer received it, consumer downloaded it to their wallet, funds were spent at X location, right? And, and so from a Mondelez perspective and other brands that we work with, they lost all visibility into the issuance of those funds. When you put funds into you know, PayPal or Venmo or Zelle or some of the other you know, cash-based methods that brands are using today, they really lose the visibility into what happens to that cash the moment that they send it. Now with SKUX, we're able to actually power that distribution all the way through and the data that they're able to collect provides the brand a better way to serve their customers, right? So the life cycle of that payment from a Hedera perspective, like we talked about in the last interview, is really taking it a step further and actually posting their, those transactions to the ledger and being able to show an immutable proof that the, the offer was distributed, that it was saved by the consumer, that it was redeemed at the merchant, um, that the consumer chose to redeem that offer. Okay, fair. Now, how about the, the proactive side of that? Is that something you're, you're, you're going to explore in the future? Absolutely. And we're, we're doing lots of proactive promotions today. So think about, you know, QR code scans in the middle of a stadium um, to engage that consumer to get an offer for like a ma major beverage brand. That's one of the promotions that we're powering right now, right? It's really a new world from a digital engagement perspective. That's what's so exciting about when we think about retail. We're not contained to just the newspaper or, you know, some of the older methods of offer distribution. It's really anywhere that that brand or that merchant wants to touch and engage their customer, our platform can power that. So from a proactive perspective, loyalty platforms, you know, some of the sports and entertainment and travel verticals, there's some incredible things that we have going. Mondelez obviously is a global organization, you know, massive company. They see tremendous application 
across their business to be able to leverage this capability. Um, we've taken a very methodical approach with them, obviously, um, you know, crawl, walk, run, starting in the use case that we're powering today that they're having a lot of experience with on the reactive side, but really looking at the proactive opportunities to engage their customers is super exciting. So what should we be looking for to know that a given Mondelez or a different brand promotion is actually powered by SKUX? Will SKUX be in the fine print? Will we be able to identify this with some Hedera network analysis? Or are there going to be some other ways to monitor your progress? So from a Hedera network analysis, you know, we, we will have the, the ability for consumers will be able to, to look and see different transactions that we're posting through HTS and other services that we leverage moving forward. I think it's very important, though, and, and I always say this, you know, from an enterprise perspective, SKUX has intentionally put ourselves in the background. There are lots of consumer promotional offer ecosystems and apps where front facing it's download the Ibotta app or, you know, do that. And the brand is kind of second to it. Right. We wanted to take a different approach. We wanted to make this about Mondelez. We wanted to make this about the CPG partners. When you go through the offer experience, you'll see powered by SKUX in the fine print you know, on, on our UI UX capability, but it's not about us. And that is something very intentional with our company. We're trying to put the consumer in control of getting access to that offer in a very seamless fashion, right? And that's what brands love about you know working with SKUX. When we talk about putting that information in a distributed ledger environment, in a public environment, we have to be very cautious and cognizant that some of this information is not going to be able to be put into a public environment. And some of it can be, right? Whether that's anonymizing consumer data, if and when we capture any, um, whether that's aggregating transactions at a wallet or campaign level as opposed to an individual level, there's lots of thought process that go into how we structure campaigns from a distributed ledger perspective adherent to a global brand like Mondelez's requirements, right? So we're not just saying like, hey, let's just go post a bunch of transactions on a ledger just because, you know, it sounds cool. That's not how it works. <laughs> like enterprise business, you have to be methodical. We've gained their trust. We've gained other companies' trust in this approach. And we're building this for the long term. So, you know, as we power more and more campaigns, as we power more and more use cases, uh, you know, we're all excited to see that volume, you know, drive, obviously, in terms of a Hedera perspective, but it is a long-term approach, definitely. So just to kind of extend on that, I know this question has come up a couple times already. You did a really good space with Genfinity last week, but what does the timeline look like for the SKUX Mondelez collaboration and other collaborations you have coming up for that ramp up? Sure. I mean, we are live now with Mondelez. So we're powering these experiences in market right now. Just for you know everyone's awareness, you know, we have already powered campaigns with major, major companies and attached those to the Hedera Ledger. So that's something that we've already done. But again, the way that we've controlled that information from an anonymized perspective has been very intentional as we've been testing and really just talking to customers and finding out what information satisfies you know your requirements in terms of what you want to do from an audit perspective what information do we need to keep secure that's one of the benefits of distributed ledger environments right so um we are going and planning on just driving this with mondelez moving forward but we're being sensitive obviously to their requirements and the speed at which they are moving because um Obviously, from an innovation perspective, this is very groundbreaking for them. It's completely new territory. And so, again, it's always a balance. Well, Bobby, we had you on just a few weeks ago. You're already making great strides here. Is there anything else you'd like to pass on before we let you go? We're, we're fans. We're super excited. I mean, we've been building this um, with this community for years. And, and I think that's one of the things that we're really excited to see the love and outpouring from the Hedera community and other CPG partners and merchant partners has really ramped up since this has come out. I think this is the first step of many to what, you know, we're all building towards. So hello, future all the way. That's right. Well, Bobby, thank you so much for coming on and explaining this particular collaboration. Congratulations again and good luck. Absolutely. Thank you, Brandon. I'm now posting these interviews of Hedera Builders independently to my channel. The community, influencers, and media outlets are free to use this content to spread the word on what's being built on Hedera. Once they're all uploaded, you'll be able to go to my channel and search for whatever topic or team you're interested in to find more information. Or you'll be able to get the most recent Hedera news by watching the latest HBAR Weekly update. So check them out.